Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu. In this video, I'll show you how to merge multiple Lightroom catalogs into one. If you're watching this video as part of my Fundamentals and Beyond series, then you know from my video on how Lightroom works that I recommend that most people have just one catalog with all their photos in it. If you maintain one catalog for your landscape photos, one catalog for travel, another for family, you essentially have a brick wall between photos in those catalogs. So when you want to pull together, for example, all your five-star photos across all those catalogs, it becomes an unnecessarily long and complicated process. Now Adobe has found customers who have millions of photos in one catalog. So long gone are the days when you might have needed to have relatively few photos in each catalog. So let's take a look at how to merge them. I'm in the catalog that I've decided is going to be my master catalog. I'll import the other into this one. So right now this is called First Lightroom Catalog. We'll take a look later at how to rename it. Let's go take a look at the other catalog, which conveniently is called Second Catalog. This one only has 19 photos in it. I've edited each of the photos to add a white border, just so we know that they've been edited. I also have a collection that has three of the 19 photos. So we'll go back to the catalog that's going to be my master catalog to import the second one. We'll go up to File, Import from another catalog. Now this is very different from Import Photos or the Import button down here that just imports photo files. We want to import from another catalog. Then I'll navigate to where this catalog is on my computer and I'll select the yellow cat file. I'll click on choose. Now my second catalog only has 19 photos so this dialog came up really quickly. Yours may take quite a while as Lightroom compares the contents in each of the catalogs. So we see that we have 19 photos Lightroom lists all of the folders that images from that second catalog reside in. So I could uncheck and not import any of those folders, but I want to import them all. There's also a show preview checkbox here that will show you all of the thumbnails. So of the 19, 13 are new. They don't yet exist in my main catalog. For those, I just want to add them to the catalog without moving them. I want them to stay exactly where they are on my hard drive. I can always change that later. We then have six that exist in both catalogs. Now it's very possible that I've worked on these photos in both catalogs and they have different work associated with them. So this decision here has to do with which version of the work am I going to keep? Choosing to do nothing would keep the version of my work that's in my master catalog for these six photos. Choosing instead to replace metadata and develop settings will keep the work for these six photos coming from the second catalog rather than the master catalog. The work that I done on those six photos in the master catalog would be gone unless I also choose to preserve that work on the six photos as virtual copies. Now I have a separate video in my Fundamentals and Beyond series on virtual copies, but if you haven't watched that video, virtual copies essentially allow you to have multiple copies of your photos. They're not actually duplicate physical copies of your files, but they do look like that. Virtual copies have a turned up page corner. So in this case, your master photo would have the work from the second catalog and the virtual copy would have your work from the first catalog. Now this is absolutely fine when I only have six that are in both catalogs, but if you have 80,000 that are in both catalogs, that's a lot of virtual copies for you to sort through and clean up. So think about that one carefully. It helps if before starting on this process, you have an idea of what's in both catalogs and which one you're likely to have edited more recently so that you can make this decision without saving virtual copies. Now in the thumbnails here, you'll see exclamation points 
next to the ones that it found are in both catalogs. Let's go ahead and import. Now, again, your import would take a lot longer than mine with only 19 photos. So we have 19 photos and six updated photos, which are the six that are in both catalogs. So we'll have 19 photos and six virtual copies. Here's the folder that they all reside in. Now for those six that exist in both catalogs, notice that I have the master photo, which has the work I did in that second catalog. And then I have the virtual copy that has different work or no work as it was in the first catalog. And those two are stacked together. In my video on evaluating photos, I talk more about stacks. Now that we've got the second catalog merged into the first one, and you're confident that that process went as expected, you can go out to your hard drive and delete that second catalog. Be sure to delete both the previews file and the LRCAT file. And if you have smart previews, you could delete that file as well. All right, that's the process of importing catalogs. If you have more than two, go back to your master Lightroom catalog and do another file import from another catalog. Finally, let's rename this catalog to reflect that it is now my master catalog. We need to get to my hard drive. I like to get there through catalog settings. If you're on a Mac, go up to Lightroom. If you're on a PC, go to Edit and then down to Catalog Settings. Click on the Show button. That will highlight the folder that your catalog lives in and find it in the list. Now before you rename it, it's really important to go back to Lightroom and quit. You don't want to rename the catalog folder with Lightroom open. So this was first Lightroom catalog and first Lightroom catalog previews. I'll click in the name here and I'll call this master Lightroom catalog. Now it's important to rename the previews file exactly the same with space previews after it. So I'll come in here and I'll put the words master. And if you had a smart previews file, you would do the same thing. Now, notice that I still have my old Lightroom 5 and Lightroom 6 catalogs out here. Those don't need to be merged into my master catalog. That already happened when I upgraded from Lightroom 5 to Lightroom 6 and then Lightroom 6 to Classic 2018. So since I'm using Classic 2018 successfully, the upgrade went fine. I got all my photos and work when I upgraded. I could go back and delete these catalogs as well. Now we need to tell Lightroom that we've changed the name of its catalog. So double click on the LRCAT file to launch Lightroom with this renamed catalog. Finally, we'll go into Preferences, Lightroom on the Mac, Edit on the PC, and into Preferences. And on the General tab, under Default Catalog, click on the dropdown and choose your master catalog. It should be the top one in the list. That way Lightroom will always open now with this new master catalog. And you can close preferences. This concludes the lesson on merging catalogs. If you've enjoyed this video, check out my full Lightroom Fundamentals and Beyond video series. It's 22 hours of training on 101 videos. Also, please show your support by clicking on my face here and subscribing to my YouTube channel. That tells everyone that my videos are worth watching. Thank you. I'm Laura Shue.